Oh, China is shifting its focus from Shanghai to Beijing amid rising COVID-19 infections in the capital. Authorities are racing to stamp out the spread, expanding testing to some 20 million residents. Residents in Beijing have been rushing to stock up on food and other essential supplies. Concerns are growing that Beijing could be placed under a strict lockdown as Shanghai was after authorities detected 33 new infections. About 25 million people in China's financial hub Shanghai have endured a citywide lockdown for a month now. Restriction over tough COVID-19 curbs continues to mount in Shanghai. But even as infections decline for a third straight day, the numbers are still high. Shanghai has detected nearly 17,000 new cases. And our correspondents are standing by in China to give us more insight into the country's zero COVID strategy. Olivia Xiong in Beijing and Lo Min Min in Shanghai. Now let's speak to Olivia first. Olivia, a massive testing exercise underway in Beijing. How worried are authorities about a large scale outbreak? Well, seeing how swiftly Beijing authorities are moving, it is quite clear that the officials are concerned about a wider outbreak here in the Chinese capital. A short while ago, we had heard from health authorities saying that the risk of hidden and continued transmission of COVID-19 here in the city remains high and the situation remains grim. And we just have to look to how yesterday we had seen mass testing begin for just one district, the Chaoyang district here in Beijing, the largest district uh, here in the city with 3.5 million residents. But then overnight, authorities moved to order 11 more districts here to also undergo and begin mass testing today. And so we're talking about 20 million people out of a population here in the city of 22 million people being tested. And this is really unprecedented. And we're talking not just about one test being done, but three tests in the coming week. And so including where I am here in the Feng Tai district, we have seen around the whole city temporary testing sites being set up in residential compounds as well as outside office buildings. Many people today waiting in line to get their COVID-19 test. Um, as they continue, as we continue to see case numbers climb over here. Another piece of news that we have seen is that China has announced that an inactivated vaccine uh, dedicated to address the Omicron variant has just been given clinical trial approval by the drug regulator over here. And this is a vaccine that is produced by a local maker, Sinopharm, even as there continues uh, to remain uh, even though as there still continues to be skepticism over the efficacy of local vaccines, uh, which are the only option available to residents here in China. But, you know, just speaking to locals over the last few days, there is a sense that um, people are trying to prepare for what is to come, bracing for tougher uh, COVID-19 measures as mass testing gets underway. And it's more than likely experts say that we are going to cover more cases and as more residential areas in the city get placed under some kind of lockdown or control management. Have a listen. Quiet streets, shuttered shops and barricaded residential compounds. These were the scenes from inside an area that has been placed under what Beijing authorities called strict management. The area is located in Chaoyang district where the bulk of the city's cases have been found. Residents aren't allowed to leave the zone as three rounds of mass testing have been ordered in the coming week. Only hospitals and those selling groceries remain open. Delivery riders only allowed to send items to the gate of residential compounds. Some residents told us while they are concerned and hoping for the best, they are also cooperating with authorities' guidelines. Now, where I'm standing is perhaps emblematic of what Beijing as a city is going through amid this latest outbreak. On that side of the road is the zone that has been placed under strict management by authorities as of Monday as part of COVID-19 prevention measures. But just across the road where I am, on this side, shops, businesses running as per normal or as much as possible as they also wait to hear what may happen next. 
Just outside of the control zone, some businesses told us that there were noticeably fewer people on the streets in the last few days as more COVID-19 cases have been reported in the area. The supermarket seen stocking up on fresh produce as Beijing residents continue to stockpile food, even as authorities try to avoid a repeat of what happened in Shanghai, with many confined to their homes without enough supplies. Still, some residents in lockdown compounds have taken to social media site Weibo to show food items they have received from their neighborhood committees. Officials and media have continued to try to soothe nerves, reiterating that there is enough supply of daily necessities. But with Beijing's decision to mass test roughly 20 million people overnight and experts warning more cases will likely be uncovered, many are still taking no chances. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, Olivia Xiong there in Beijing with that report. Now let's speak to Lo Min Min. She's in Shanghai. For more on this, Min Min, two major Chinese cities trying to stem COVID-19 outbreaks. Are we seeing any similarities perhaps? And what does this spell for a zero COVID future? Well, the Shanghai government has acknowledged that it was ill-prepared for the Omicron outbreak because little was understood about it. And Beijing has benefited from Shanghai's learning curve and is acting much more swiftly. Here in Shanghai, the death toll has hit its highest so far. 52 people died, including, for the first time, a young person aged only 33. People in Shanghai are now closely watching how Beijing responds to the outbreak in the capital because that's key to understanding whether Shanghai is a one-off love or if the Omicron variant is truly pushing China's COVID zero policy to breaking point and the extent to which Beijing's containment measures are successful will tell us a great deal about the next phase of China's COVID-19 policy. Experts say that in the rare event that, Ch- that Beijing fails to contain the outbreak, then there is a small chance that China could pivot away from COVID zero. And the first sign of that could be an abrupt change in vaccine policy, for instance, making it compulsory for everyone and speeding up the rollout of an mRNA vaccine. Take a look at the updates from Shanghai so far. Over the weekend, some compounds in Shanghai entered what officials called a hard quarantine. With wire mesh fences set up around some buildings within hours, further restricting the movement of residents. It came after positive COVID-19 cases continued to be detected in the community even after four weeks of lockdown. I'm very shocked to know that uh, the COVID policies entails breaching uh, fire safety uh, common sense. <laughs> so, so, I mean, when, when we saw the, the, the wire mesh being set up, I think everyone was practically calling everyone that they know, like the, the CF, a GUA, fire department police. But um, I, I think we didn't get an answer. Everyone's like, the fire brigade said, the fire department said, like, wait, wait for, wait for us to call you back. The police said, I, I know, I know already. I know, thanks for your reporting. And then Jiedao and Jiwei said this is like uh, required by the district. Videos circulating on social media suggest that some residents are pushing back against the new measures, though we are unable to verify them independently. Shanghai officials have said that while the pandemic situation is improving, there cannot be any chance of relaxation. It is conducting yet another round of mass testing, but some residents weary of the tests are refusing to go out when they asked us to do the testing again, we did say we did sort of resist uh, in terms of going down because we are concerned about the mass, mass testing and the mass crowding. And, and actually our building, we sort of voted. So majority of the people do not want to go down to test. But when it comes to the actual day of tests, again, we all went down. <laughs> The government has given almost 700 companies, mostly from the automobile, chips and energy sectors, priority in resuming operations. But employees will have to stay within a closed loop, which means sleeping where they work. Many companies um, do not have dormitories in their factories, so they, um, they try to get kind of beds in or, or mats where, where staff could 
um, sleep in. And also, it's now the fourth week for many companies. So staff is really getting tired. They, they want to um, get home to look after their families. But uh, that's very challenging because um, either they cannot go out, but also new, um, new staff cannot enter the factories. Uh, so it's a very, very stressful situation. Shanghai reported 3.1% GDP growth in the first quarter, a sharp decline from 17.6% last year. Economists have warned of greater downward pressure as the lockdown continues with no end in sight. Mm, some tense times and uh, tough choices there in Shanghai. Min Min, thank you for that. Lo Min Min there in Shanghai.